What's up everybody? It's Ken. I'm back again. This is another video in my continuing series around how you scale a business. I'm doing these videos all around our recently purchased Canadian hot tub companies and what we found when we bought it and what we're doing to scale it. And I wanted to just give you guys a little update video. This is the showroom we currently have. And there's my little workstation whenever I'm down here. I wanna try and kind of pick up where we left off the last time that we talked. As you guys know, we bought the company for about $1.3 million and we have a very aggressive goal to take the company to $100 million in the next five to 10 years. What I'm doing in managing this company is I'm deploying every tactic that I know to reasonably learn as much as I can about the company, how it operates, the people involved, put the right people in place and scale however we can. We've actually accomplished a lot since we started this business and I wanna share a couple updates with you and then I'm gonna kind of jump out into the factory and actually show you how much more efficient they are and all these things that we've put in place. Let's go back to the beginning. We bought the company in August for $1.3 million. Um, whenever you buy a company, you do all of this research and due diligence before you buy it, but you have to be prepared for the fact that when you actually get the company and you start working on it, a lot of things aren't gonna be as they were. So as we went through the fall, the first three months, we realized that the company was not profitable and they had a lot of issues internally that we had to fix. So first we had to figure out what were the issues and what did we have to fix? We took about a month and a half and we started digging into what does it actually cost us to make one of these hot tubs. We have about seven different models of hot tubs here at the company that we make and of course ours are unique because they're cedar and they have these beautiful cedar tops to them but we had to figure out what does it actually cost us. After about a month and a half we did realize that we make about a 40% profit on each hot tub and cover that we sell which is a really great healthy margin so we could check the box there and start moving on. The next thing we did is we started a marketing campaign. These hot tubs if we take a look at this standard seven foot tub, sells for about 10 to $12,000. And we know that we get a lot of inquiries where people are wondering about them and they love them, but they can't afford them. So we went out to an amazing company and I'll put a link to their website in case somebody wants to sign up with them, Any anybody that watches this video. It's called Hum Canada and Hum is a finance company that set up a program where our customers can now get financing, seven year loans to buy the hot tubs. And it's very reasonable rates. And here's the best part, in terms of cash flow for our business, Business, whenever somebody uses the financing terms and gets a loan with Hum Canada, Hum Canada gives us 100% of the money the next day. So it's really great cash flow for our business even when we do these loans. So we like that. So we checked the box there. Then we started running marketing campaigns to generate more leads for our hot tubs, advertising our financing prices. And we're generating leads for our business right now. We're, we're not spending a lot of money, only about 50 bucks a day but we're literally generating about three to four leads a day of people that are interested in our hot tubs, they know the prices and they wanna do the financing. Because we generated those leads, we actually got that guy involved in our business. That's Zach, he's the sales guy. So what's happening now is every day Zach comes into work, he's got new leads to call, he calls and makes has conversations on the phone with them and hopefully signs people up. And that's starting to look really good. So that's going well now. Now the big thing we did as we were starting to analyze what was happening in our business and how things are going here so far, we found a bottleneck and, and a real struggle, a challenging part. So we're a manufacturer. We get people all the time that are asking us to install the hot tubs or giving, asking for references to install the hot tubs. And, and frankly speaking, we, we don't really have a lot of those references because we sell hot tubs all over North America. About 60% of the hot tubs we sell are shipped into the United States. So we were still analyzing our business, but we realized that we had to circle back at some point in time and really figure out if there was some way that we could get into installation because it would be a major revenue stream for the company. So we put that on the back borders. Then we started looking more at operations. Now what happens now when we make hot tubs is we ship them out and this company historically for years has been using the same shipping company and the shipping costs have been crazy. Actually, this is a good time. What I'd like to do with you guys now, let me take you into the shop and I'm gonna actually explain to you how the process works so you can see how the shipping was actually happening before. So we're gonna go out into the shop here and I hope you guys can still hear me okay, but this is our shop and what's happening out here? When orders come in from inside of the office, 
they come onto a new computer system that we've insulated and they come to the shop manager's desk here. And she decides what the guys are gonna do every day. And we've split the shop into two sides now. So on this side of the shop, we're making covers. And we got a good team of people that are working on the covers there. And on this side of the shop, we're actually making the hot tubs. And we got great people there. And at each side of the shop, we have two workstations that we've created and everything is going really well. So the covers are made when we have cover orders over here. Everything's working well. And then on this side, the hot tubs are made. Now here's what happens. Here's where shipping comes in. Remember, we don't do insulation. We just ship the tubs. So everything works its way to the back of the shop all the way to the back of the shop. And in the back of the shop is where we package everything up. And what you're looking at right here on this pallet is a complete hot tub order ready to go out. And so we put these things together, we get them ready to go out, and the shipping company comes and picks these orders up right from the ramp. So what we ended up finding when we looked at the shipping and what was happening is this Milton, Ontario is literally an hour and a half from where we are. But for us to ship that hot tub through the shipping company that the company has been using historically, that hot tub was costing $2,000 to ship. That average hot tub, they weigh about 800 pounds. So we started doing research and we wanted to find out if there was some way we could ship them cheaper. And we decided to do two things. We just bought a five ton truck with a loading ramp that could back right up to there. And we're gonna hire a driver that's gonna start shipping all of the tubs that are ordered in Ontario. About 25% of our orders come from Ontario and we're normally charging the client $1,500 to $2,000 to ship these tubs. With our own truck and a driver, what we've determined is a tub that we were sending to Ottawa, Ontario that was costing us $2,000. We can put it on a truck with several orders, do them all at one time. It's gonna literally drop our delivery cost for that averaged out to that one truck that one tub to $250 and we can still charge the client $900 and it's a lot less than what they were paying before so now we've got a whole new income stream that we're going to be creating with shipping which I thought was pretty amazing now here's the next part and I'm really excited about this I'm just gonna jump out of the shop now so you guys can hear me clearly again. So we've been in this office here in Kitchener, Ontario for about 20 years and we, at the same time, we want to create a workplace where our employees are really excited about coming here and the people that we hired love it here. So we do all kinds of little things like as soon as we took over the place we invested a thousand bucks and we bought lockers. So all the employees now have their own lockers, they can keep everything locked up and it all works perfectly in there and I'm excited about it. Now here's the other thing that happened that I'm gonna share with you guys today that we're working on now. There's two things I wanna tell you. One of the most important parts of scaling any business is making sure that you have the people on the team that know what they're doing. And in my journeys over the last years, I have a friend who worked in private equity companies at an incredibly high level and about 10 years ago, he was working in New York and he was recruited to come back to Canada. And there was a company that everybody knows the name of. I won't share the name of the company on this video, but I'll just tell you, there's a company that everybody knows their name that was um, having troubles. And this guy was literally brought back into Canada to help that company get itself fixed. And he did, he literally fixed that company, took it to almost a billion dollars in sales and sold it for hundreds of millions of dollars. And because he's such a close friend of mine, he knew all about what was happening at the hot tub company. And it just so happened that he was at a point in his life where he was looking for a new adventure. So I convinced Pete to join our team and we have cut him in on the ownership side of this. So he now owns a piece of the company and he's gonna help us scale the company and introduce all of our contacts. So you always wanna be making really strategic decisions along the way to make it grow faster. The next thing, remember I was telling you about installation. The other thing we realized in when we were starting this is we have this showroom here at the Canadian Hot Tub Companies. And the showroom was set up originally so that people could walk in, see the hot tubs. And what we found when I started talking with Pete, my new partner, is it didn't make sense to have this showroom here. And we started talking between the three partners of the company, which are Pete, Mark, and I, about what we could do to remedy this situation. The other thing we started talking about was because of the shipping, the size of the tubs, and the installation potential in that revenue stream is there had to be a way that we could create some type of 
franchise model or distributorship model. The idea that we started thinking about was the fact that we could start a distributorship model where we sell distributorships all over North America and we sell them specifically to contractors who can do the installations so that we can now have showrooms all over North America. We can partner with them. They have a couple hot tubs on display. They do all the sales through their distributorship. It comes by computer back to our factory to be built and they get paid a 20% commission when they sell those hot tubs, but they get the installation, which per hot tub could be thousands of dollars. So it's a really amazing business model. So to prove that this is going to work, we've decided that we're gonna open two stores. One is gonna be in Peterborough, Ontario, because that's strategically located at the foot or the entryway to the Kawartha Lakes and the Halliburton Highlands, where we sell lots of hot tubs. The other one's gonna be in Gravenhurst area because that is an area where we sell lots of hot tubs, obviously, into the Muskokas. Now, we're gonna own these two locations, and so we're gonna put hot tubs up there, we're gonna put a couple salespeople in both locations, we're gonna start driving traffic into the stores because that's where the people live that are looking for hot tubs, and we're gonna partner with contractors that are gonna do the installation. So we're gonna start making money in installation. But the whole reason we're doing it is so we can build a distributorship model and start selling those distributorships all across North America. There's where we're at today. As far as revenue goes, we're, we're scaling the business now. So we're averaging about 160,000 a month right now, and we're almost at profitability. So everything is looking amazing. Finally, uh, to the 15 people that made this possible and helped me with uh, lending us the money to buy the company, this video was for you. If you guys have any questions based on hearing this video and, and the updates from the company, feel free to give me a call whenever you want to talk about it. And if you're watching these videos to hear how we're going to scale this company to a billion dollars, keep watching them. And if you have any questions about anything I've said in this video or anything else to do with scaling a business, just go into the comments from this video and I'll be sure to get back to you.